You see, the first time I've been in conferences like that one, I was pretty scared. Market size, vision, uh, no, define your market. Whoa, can I do that? But it's actually pretty common sense. I mean, the, define your market. It's actually looking, looking around you and asking, your, asking the people, asking the guy out there, would you buy my product? Do you want to buy that writer? Yeah, good, great, I will pay a customer. I'm talking to you, yeah, okay. You are a paying customer, fantastic. How many possible customers are there? That's the market size. That's a really, 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 really nice word, I'm telling you. Um, research your market size. Yeah, it's uh, very nice, but it's actually looking around you and see how many people are you are willing to pay for your product. That's the market size. Next, is that competition? Study your competition. Spend one month studying your competition before starting your business. No competition. Are you sure? Because if it's like that, it's not good. Trust me. I've been there, I've done that, and I failed. I studied home comics. How it was a house automation. Uh, I'm really, I'm proud to say that it was something I started. Right? I'm, I'm entering my house and I say light, and the light goes on. Or if I'm in the mountains and I want to start on the heating, I just pick up my phone, I just do that, okay, I'm starting the, the heat in my house. It was something designed for the luxury, luxury guys here. I mean, it was, it was really expensive. We, we, we've been investing in building a part of the product. Why? Because we are programmers. The, that, that was actually said in my company, was very good at, was, was, was really good at programming. So I just, I just lost out of my focus the customers. I simply skipped the first part and I failed. I closed it in March, March this year. Why? No profit. There is competition. Good. If there is competition, it means your market is validated. It means there are money there. Go for it. Good. Gather data, spend time, time researching. I know it's, uh, it's not nice. For me, it's never nice to gather data about competition. It's really, it's really nice to create stuff. But this will not make your business. A business is not a product. Having a website is not having a business. A website is just, let's say, 10%, 20% of your business. All the other is 80%. You don't build a website the very next day. It's not going to get anywhere. Use the tools, you have some things, you have a lesson, but just, just read a form, read a blog, search on front page, talk to your friends. Look, look on, 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 on your competition globe and, uh, and look at their ASFP readers. How many readers do they have? If a lot of readers is good, there is a market. Write down the number. It's okay. Great. Not the plan. No programming. No, no programming. Use pen and paper. For, for a lot of years, I've been, I've been talking to myself, wow, I'm too smart to use pen and paper. No, I have a great mind. I can only spend a half the thing to me. I don't need to put it on paper. You need, you need to put it on paper. When you put it on paper and you start thinking that, okay, I have to pay the rent like this, I have to pay the salaries like this, you'll see that it's actually you have to find, you have to find solutions. Think about that. How many users you have in one month, in three months, in one year, in three years? How much money will you make? That's actually the question that bothered me a lot in the first years. How in the world can I possibly know, okay, I'm studying this writer, that's an online productivity solution. How in the world can I know how many users we have in three years? There is no way I can, I can, even, I can even think of it. No, I'm not, I cannot do that. Yeah, you can. You can do educated guess. You can look at the competition. You can look at compete and see see the number of unique users my direct competition has. Okay, then I can just guess. I can say, okay, they're having 1,000 visitors a day. Let's assume half half of them are paying. That's great. I have a number to start. Of course, all the way after you start, you will come back to the drawing board and you are going to refine the numbers. But you have something to start on. Why do that? It's another question that bothered me a lot. I mean, uh, I used to read the, I, know, I used to be in conference where, where guys and me were telling, I, I was there and they were telling, build the business plan, do planning, do, that's a, man, they're, they're selling bullshit to me. Why, why would I want to do that? It's actually, the answer is not, not really that, that straightforward. 
That's the reason, because otherwise you lose focus very soon. If you don't think in advance, if you, if you, if you, don't, if you don't make a projection about, about where you're going to be in, in one year, and trust that projection, and, and convince yourself that you're going to be there, you're going to lose focus in one month. You're not going to, going to make it. You're just going to run tired, to think, okay, I have the website's address, so I have, to, I have no users. No, it's, it's the wrong idea. I just move something else. I've done this. Ten times. That's actually, that's actually what, what, what I was telling you. You need to get used to your numbers. Now, if you're asking me what a writer is going to be in three years, I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to bring you evidence about this. I'm going to tell you, you see, Vitalis, my direct competition, they have these numbers, these numbers, that means nothing five, five, five years ago. So, I'm going to be better than them, so I'm going to be here. So, I really trust this. If I trust this, I'm just putting effort, I'm putting time in my business, because I trust it. And I, I came to trust it, not, not because I woke up in the morning and I had vision. No, I don't have vision, sorry. sorry. I've, I've been just thinking a lot. I've been, I've been looking a lot to the market. I've been looking a lot at my competition. I've been trying to understand how, how, how they did it. And now I'm pretty sure that I understand this. And this is just great. Now it's time for, for, for some programming. So you have your idea, you have your plan, you have a lot of data about the market and, and about the competition. Now it's time to program. And here I've been doing a lot, a lot of mistakes. I'm doing a lot of mistakes right now. It's actually the syndrome that is called paralysis by analysis. Yeah. A product is never ready, and uh, actually, I used to be a perfectionist. I, I was never ready for market. I, 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 I failed for a product, I think, for the, for the same single reason again and again. This product is not good enough to go to the market. We just need one month to make it the best, the best product ever, and only then, then and only then go to the market. Not still there. Not like that. This is the wrong way. Just be the simplest thing that works. Build a simpler thing that is going to solve a small, a small problem of your user base. And get out there to the users. Put your product online. Start, start to tell people about your product. Now. And it's actually what I've been doing with Stars Writer from one month prototype. This is actually about four years doing, doing the wrong stuff. This is, I'm proud that this is the first thing I've, I've been online about one month of programming. <coughs> Experiment a lot. You don't know. Actually, here, here it's, a, it's a wider discussion. It's, it's either, either you, are, you are the Macintosh, the, the, the guy from Macintosh, who always know what user wants, and they say, no, I'm not going to do like you. You're going to buy my stuff because they're great. Or it's like the everybody else. I don't know what, what my interface wants. I need to experiment. I need to come there with a simple thing that works, and then measure, and then talk to you. You are my user. I'm going to ask you, what do you want from me? Would you pay if I give this feature? And you tell me yes. Great. <coughs> Google Analytics, use events. Events is just great. It's rather new in Google Analytics. You are able to see what, what your visitors, what your users, how, how, how they are interacting with your website, what, what buttons they use, what links they click. Tell the world about what, what you do. In Bucharest, I just put three, three events that uh, are free and open to attend. It's open coffee every Thursday at Cafe de Roman and Yerba Mama between 9 and 11 in the morning. It's Big Meet, I think, once a month, and work there, I think, once a month. Go there, talk to the people. Just don't, 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 don't sit there in your ivory tower, as I did. Because I've been sitting like three years in my office and building the great product that is going to, to, to change the world. No, it didn't work. Just go there, talk to the people. The, tell the people about your great idea, and you might have surprises sometimes. Okay, that's that's a concern. They're going to steal my idea. I'm not going to tell anybody until I'm ready. I'm ready. I will. I will have a lot of ideas on my own. Why would I steal yours? And if, even even if you wait till you are ready and, and then go online, I will see it at that moment, right? And I still have the resources to be faster than you are. If I really want to steal your idea, I can do that at the point you came online and I can, I can still be faster than you. So it's no point, it's no point in, in hiding and saying, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to tell to you about my idea because you're going to steal it. No, no rules. 
I mean, the, the value, the value you get from, from talking to people, from getting their advices, this is just a huge value. It doesn't work. Release offer. I mean, okay, you just started building your product. Don't just sit there for months to build the, 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 next, the next fantastic product. Don't just sit there for months to build the next feature. No, just click, 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 I would say, and in several times today, at this point, we are releasing product in South Carolina, several times today, it might happen. Because, okay, I have a just in one month. We are fixing it to address product. Because, you know, you're used to this. They, 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 they are my best friend. My, my best friend at this moment. I mean, they're telling you, because you have more money there. So, I really need to go to them with my product, and not just sit there in my company, and not release it. This is process. You really need to think, think of everything in the process. I'll tell you more about that. All the matter is extensively. Just everything that can be automated. Automated. I'm talking here technically, very, very technically. For example, you need to be able to go to production with your code by pressing one button. If, 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 uh, let's, let, let's take one, one very technical example. You have a website. If you need to put this website online and it takes you more than 10 minutes, it's not okay. If you need to go by hand there and code something and then go there and make a mistake and tomorrow you're going to repeat the same process again and again, not good. You need to be able to push a button and every single there. That's, that's because otherwise you're losing time. You're losing your time. You scrum. You should read about that. It's actually, I, I will just tell you a very simple idea. Each morning I have a meeting, a 10 minutes meeting and no more, and talk to everybody in the team. What, what have you done yesterday? What are you going to do today? What is stopping you from achieving your goals? It's good. It's just 10 minutes, but it's what's fantastic. Again, it's actually a trap. It's, it's a huge trap. At least for me, it was like that. I was, I was doing so much work for my company. I was being so involved in creating stuff for the company that I have completely lost the, the thing and the system. No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to program all the time. No, you you are the entrepreneur. You are making things happen. So you really need to think on the system. There, there is not work for you to be done there. No, there, there is a system. You you need to hire people. You need to you need to you need to make things happen. And not just just sit there and say, okay, I need a new page. What I'm going to do? I'm going to create it. Of course, I'm going to lose a day and think of nothing else. Think not on my business as a business, but on the product as you know like that. No, not like that. Plan. Plan and monitor. You see, when you started, I've told you to write down on paper. This is why I use paper. Because now, after one week, you look you look behind and say, Oh, I'm there. Great, fantastic. I'm not there. Why I'm not there? What what has been blocking me from achieving what I said one week, one week ago that I will achieve? This one. Okay, let's do it better for the next week. So you always have, have to monitor. You, you don't have to let yourself code in the stream of, of daily actions, like coming to the office and say, oh, that, 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 oh, no, not like that, no, just think, plan, take your time, relax. What's your money? You're going to ask me what money? You, well, you said me, I don't need money. Well, actually, you need money for a living. You have to have daily expenses, you have to buy a coat, you have to buy a sandwich. Watch this money. Really, it's your cash flow. Just have a paper for a writing. Today, I spent for my business one dollar to buy a coat. That's an expense. It will build your habit that works a lot when, when you're going to talk about one million dollars. Being, being used to do daily cash flow is really, really huge for later. So, exercise this habit now, but on why works more? Keep your expenses low. You haven't yet tested. You are just having. You are just developing a product. Don't go there and spend one million dollars to come to the market. No, don't yet. And only think. It's actually what Scott said at the beginning. Watch the bottom line. Every action you're you're making. Just think. What do I get from that? Should I do it or should I should I not not do it? Think on that. Have fantastic customer support. You're just developing a product. You really need users around you. 
gathering users around you. This is actually the, your, your ultimate goal. As soon as you achieve this, you will, you will have their money. If they are happy, they are going to pay you. And you have a business. So just have fantastic customer support. I've been doing customer support as writer for the first four months until I've like, been able to hire someone to, to do that. And it's been great. I've been able to achieve a user base. They're not supporting me. Why? Because I've really been kind to them. Get to the people around you. And here, I'll tell you about one more personal experience. About three years ago, I've been always thinking, well, doing business has got some, some kind of magic. No. There must be something I'm missing. There must be a link, a secret that I don't know. Because everything I start, I just work for a few months and then it goes like that. So it must be a secret I'm missing. If I, if I only could, uh, could work for one month with X, put, put this to X and anyone you, you respect. Months later, if you do that, you'll have a working product. Sorry. You'll have users and fans around you. You'll have a few paying customers that are actually giving you your money. That's great. Well, now is the time to think about getting to an angel investor and raising money. Why? Because you already have a, have a model. You can tell to the guy, man, if you give me 100 bucks, I can give you back 200. Because you see, I already tested that. And that's okay. Thank you. That's all I have to tell you. You can reach me anytime. I'm, I'm on Top on Coffee every Thursday since 9 to 11. So you are welcome. Everybody is welcome there. It's near Alabama. So I'd love to talk to you.